Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about how you can create graphs for your loan amortization table or schedule. So there's a couple ways to create loan amortization tables. This is just the way I set it up. You can look at my previous video to show how you can set your own loan amortization table up. So just a brief run through. So essentially you just need to know these three things. You plug those three things in, your loan amount, interest rate, and the number of years for the loan. And then this table will do the rest, showing you your payment, the interest, principal on the loan, and your remaining loan balance after that month or period. And then this here is a PMT function used to calculate your monthly payment on that loan. There are two main graphs that we can really create here. And that first one is just gonna be is gonna be a line graph of of the remaining loan balance. So obviously you keep paying off the loan until it gets down to zero. Super simple, you probably didn't want a graph for that, but I'm gonna to talk to you why this graph is important later on. But let's get to the second graph and then I'll tell you why this graph might be important to you, all right? So going back up the top, basically what we can do is then do a graph of our payment interest and principal and kind of see the comparison there. So we can insert another chart um, and that's gonna be a line graph here. And so this blue line is gonna represent our payment. Obviously it's the same amount every single month for the duration of the loan. So this orange line we have here is our interest that we're paying. So out of that $851 that we're paying every month, this is how much interest of that loan we're paying. And then this gray line represents the principal of that loan we're paying off. And so then you can see something interesting here, right here around 211 months, you can see that this flips, right? So then you start paying more principal compared to how much interest you are on the loan, which makes sense because you have a less total balance remaining on the loan. So eventually your interest is gonna be less than what your principal is because that interest rate is calculated based off the remaining balance of the loan. So it might be important for you to see this graph and this graph combined. But right now, the way we have this table set up, it wouldn't do us much good because these are very low numbers. These are in the 700s, um, down to the 100s. The highest number this, this graph will go to is $851.68. So compared to 150,000, you know, even 40,000, so basically, that's not gonna be very helpful for you because you're not gonna see anything. So in order to combine those two graphs, what we're gonna to have to do is create a couple new columns. And we're gonna make these cumulative columns. So the cumulative interest payment, the cumulative principal payment, right? And then it will be able to be compared in more like terms with this loan balance. So essentially, um, so this is the cumulative interest and this is the cumulative principal all right so the easiest way this is calculated is you essentially just take the interest and the principal in this first column and then what you're going to do is do a simple formula the past month's cumulative interest plus this month's total interest and you're gonna do the same thing here. You can just drag that over and it's gonna copy the formula. And then what we can do is drag that all the way down. So this is gonna bring up our cumulative interest. So the total amount of interest or the total principal we've paid off on the loan will be calculated in this column. So then it's just a running total, right? So these numbers are gonna be getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So then what we can do is we can select these three rows, go down here, insert, uh, we're actually gonna go back up to the top here, and then we can insert a chart, and that can be a line graph as well. And that paints us a little bit of a better picture. So then we can see how our loan balance is being paid off, this blue line getting to zero, and this orange line representing the total amount of interest we've paid, and the gray line representing the total principal we've paid. So essentially the principal should be the exact same at the end of the loan as the starting amount. So this graph may be helpful in helping you understand a little bit about how the interest on your loan or the principal on your loan is being paid off over the duration of the loan's life. So as you can see, interest over 30 years 
you're going to be paying the bank a lot of money in interest. And that total interest is going to add up to nearly $156,000. So essentially you're paying double what the loan amount was actually worth. These charts can be very intuitive and help you understand how loans actually work, how interest is being affected, as, as well as how your, the principal on your loan works according to the interest or the remaining loan balance. Hopefully you found this video some way informative and that's how you can create a couple different graphs for your loan amortization table or schedule. Please subscribe, smash the like button. I appreciate it so much. Thank you and have a great rest of your day.